the truck. <clears throat> I'm gonna head down to uh, where we were picking corn and cut some corn stalks. It's such a nice day today. Um, people are ready for fall. We got some pumpkins ready in the store, so I'm gonna cut some corn stalks and uh, I'll show you guys what that's like. I'm out here in our 100 acre field. Uh, this is where we've been picking our sweet corn. Uh, we're all done for the season. Uh, we finished up the other day. Woohoo! Um, so I'm gonna pick some corn stalks for the store. Uh, it's fall, people are ready uh, for decorations and things like that. So I'll get some stuff cut. Um, wanted to show you guys that this is the tractor we use to pick beans. She's a good old girl and our bean picker. We did have a bunch of beans here. Um, we were able to pick most of them. It's kind of hard to pick beans in the middle of corn season. So we usually try and plan to have beans at the beginning of the season, right before we get ready to start picking corn. Seems like that works best for us. So this is just the twine that I'm gonna use to tie them with. I go around and I pull all the ears of corn off uh, because we don't want those in the corn stalk. like to put about 10 or so in a bundle. I hear that chopper going now so um, I'll go over and check out Larry in a little bit. He's a friend of ours who has cows. Um, the waste dump truck that you saw with uh, all the corn in it usually goes to him um, to feed his cows. Uh, he's gonna chop uh, some of the standing sweet corn for silage this year. So he just got a chopper and he's getting that thing going. Um, I think it's finally working for him, but I'm gonna go over and check it out in a little bit. So then I'm just gonna tie them at the top and at the bottom. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Nice fall decoration. Mm. back at the farm and he is cleaning up the potato packing house. Uh, we're going to get ready to bag about two trucks worth of potatoes tomorrow. Uh, but he's picking up. It's like never ending cycle, always picking stuff up. Um, he also spent yesterday cleaning out the case band from our corn packing equipment. Uh, I don't think he has everything put away yet, but he's getting ready for potato storage. So in that building, we're going to have to empty all the equipment clean the floor again, pressure wash the air ducts, uh, get the bulkheads ready to go up, um, and then everything needs to be sanitized for potato storage. So in the meantime, we're gonna bag the potatoes uh, for the fairs and just keep going on to the next thing. Seems like we're gonna have quite a bit of potatoes dug from that one field before we even start storage, which is kind of cool. That's less to put in storage. done with this. Got a bunch of corn stalks in the truck ready to go. So now I'm gonna go get that cannon and then I'm gonna head back to the farm in Auburn. So I just got over here I'm checking out this chopper. Larry's not here but I'm gonna take a look anyways. All right cool. So it looks like oh, it looks kind of like a wood chipper. And he's got this full, ready to go. He has to take it off in his dump truck uh, to go feed the cows. I don't know if he's making a big pile of this stuff or what he's doing with it, but that's pretty cool. So I parked 
kind of at the edge, end of the road here. And Shane told me not to drive through the field or around the field because it is too wet. So I'm going for a little walk. Let's see if I can find this cannon. That corn got me a little itchy. heard it in a little while, so I'm assuming it's going to go off again. I don't have close to it. It'll let me know where it is. I hope it's not that heavy. i got to carry it all the way back to the truck. I don't think the can it's heavy, but depending on how much propane is left in that little tank. This is why I did not drive through here. Kind of looks like Maybe somebody got a little stuck. Maybe this is from the sprayer. Probably. Kind of squishy. All right, I'm at the other end of the field now. So now I'm looking for a blue cannon. I hope it's this way, not the other way. I have located it, but is it gonna go off while I'm right here? I hope not. I'll stay behind it anyways. See if I can get over here and turn this thing off before it goes off again. Um, off. What the fuck? Doesn't seem like uh, too heavy, so I should be able to carry it back. I turned off the propane, but I can't turn this thing off. I feel like it probably preloaded with propane, so it's not going to turn off. I wonder if it's going to sound again. I'm not sure. Oh well, I'll figure it out. It's a little heavy. Take a little break. I'm guessing the tank is about half full. Alright, break over. Hmm. All the way down there. A little further. Another break. building and I'm gonna see what Shane got done in the case van. got a potato truck in here right now but the corn packing conveyors are already moved out of the way got this truck full of potatoes hand washing stations already put away pretty much done you know most of the benches I'm good yeah 
we just have a few more hours in here of cleanup and then cleaning the floor before this is all gonna be ready for storage. Then those air ducts that you saw when I drove by, those are gonna get pressure washed and cleaned and then they'll get uh, stored in here until they're ready to go down for storage. Well, I'm gonna head home. Um, I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour so you can see the ride home. Thank you.